not a lot of people have the opportunity to see portions of their lives chronicled on screen. What surprised you most when you watched the film? I was very emotional, and I didn't think I was going to be. Uh, talking about it and seeing it, is, to me it was two completely different things. So I was very surprised that I got emotional about some of the parts of the film. It was uh, freaky, because <laughs> you don't really look at yourself. You know, you're just busy reacting to the world around you. And so it was really interesting to see myself through the eyes of, uh, of another person and with other people that do what I love, you know, and just seeing these common threads. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's so interesting because it's like when you're just living your life, you're just going through and doing your best and working hard. But when you see it on camera, like in the film, it kind of like made me feel a little uncomfortable because I'm not used to seeing myself like that and being interviewed and so um, it was it was really interesting but um, you know truly honored to be a part of it. And How do you go about preserving your own personal style and individuality when you're there to serve an artist and their overall vision? Well I think that yeah the most important thing is in, in the group is to find that really great blend and also be um, sensitive to what kind of thing the artist wants like some artists are really particular about their cutoffs or their style and so just really tailoring it to them um, and I think that that's the most important thing when you're singing background is that the group as a whole sounds great and it's not really about just their individual voice because you don't really want to stick out and create like something that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. yeah. I agree. Similar. It's like I feel like um, like a blanket, you know, like the artist is out there in the wind and the rain and the audience is in front of them and, and we're just giving them a little blanket so they can be warm and just kind of move and sing and do their thing. So I feel like, you know, there's different grades of weight of blankets. So I always think of just the weight of what is needed according to the sound of who's singing and what they're singing. And even within their show, it can be, you know, something that's really soft and tender, which needs a different kind of approach, you know, or something that is more angst-driven and needs another kind of approach. So I'm always um, thinking along those lines. And I think I always think of being in the army you have to be as one. Seriously, mm -hmm. when you're fighting, they teach you how to be a machine, one mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. and to get along and to do it. Mm -hmm. And when we're all three together, it's three different personalities, three different singers or four different singers or whatever, but you still have to be as one, as a unit, because they look back at us as a unit, mm -hmm. not as individuals. Mm -hmm. So you always have to think about we have to blend, mm -hmm. you know, we have to do what they want us to do. So I always think about oneness. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you say that since the film's release and the popularity it's had, that you're a few feet closer to stardom? What's been the biggest change that you guys have had in your career since the film came out? I think that depends on where we want to be. Because yeah. mm. I've been out here as a solo artist for over 30 years. This is helping me move on a little faster, you know, mm. to get, reach my goals. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely awesome to see how well it's received, and it's, it's incredible. But I'm always, I always think about the, the title, and I feel like, you know, I think what's so special about all of us is we are right where we need to be, and I don't feel like we're 20 feet from where we need to be. Like, they had we to think of a here. name for the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but it, it's like, at the same time, we've got a goal. We've got a, a place, you know, that we're all moving towards. But it's like, you're here at the right place and time, and we all like moving to the next place. And when we, and we get to that place, then we're supposed to be there too. Mm -hmm. I always think about uh, being 20 feet from stardom as a, as a thought, as, a, as a, a place in your mind. And that you think feet, you think walking, you think movement. And we're constantly moving towards something you know, we're all, I think all of us as human beings are constantly trying to move towards something. And the minute that we get to the point where we feel like we don't want to move anymore, it's over. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this has given me a gift of 
having a different perspective and a feeling of a second chance of, of, of possibly offering music in a different way. And with the way that the music business is now, it's, it seems like the world is just wide open as to how mm -hmm. we can do that. That excites me. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much and congratulations. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.